Hey, this is Mark Patton from Right Down Street, and you're watching BTM Review. You've got the body. I've got the brain. BTMReview.com here with Mark Patton, best known from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to be in Kansas City and be talking to you guys here. First of all, how do you like the concert? Oh, I, you know what? I've actually learned to fall in love with it. I've been really lucky. My first convention was in Amsterdam, and it was a Star Wars convention, and it was filled with Germans speaking in German, but I've been all over the world. I mean, literally, Paris, London, I'm going to Japan, and and of course, this is my hometown, Kansas City, so this is the best being right here. Absolutely. So, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, it has a special, unique place in the canon. Um, it's got, it's almost developed almost a cult following, and it's arguably the darkest of the films. And obviously after the second one, the third one, they started kind of getting campy, right? which everybody loves the third one for what that is too. But like I said, the second one has a really weird and bluff place in the fan's heart. It really does. You know, I have to say, it was, actually it was really hated when it was uh, first come out by some people. But it really has the most iconic images from Nightmare on Elm Street in it. I mean, you have, you're all my children now. You've got the body, I've got the brain. The soundtrack is, I think, I would play it anywhere. It's beautiful. And um, but it tw Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is trending at double the rate of any of the other Elm Street films right now, uh, all over the world. It's get, it just keeps getting more and more and more famous. The more people talk about it. So Lisa Wilcox is here also, and I was we were talking. I get twice as many residuals as she does, which pisses them all off. But I make more money than anybody because we're on Netflix and we're the only one. So. It's turned out to be a good thing. It's it's a beauty and difference thing, and it's one of those things. And, and it's a case that happens with like rock albums, not just movies, where something that comes out and it's a little alienating at first. Over time, everybody starts drinking the Kool Aid and they come around. Oh, oh, absolutely, I agree. There was a man here yesterday, and he he was signing actually for some uh, hearing impaired people, and he said this man is really important because he was the first person who uh, they just sat him down, and it was really kind of by accident and it's just he is who he is and it's like over the course of time people have sort of fallen in love with Jesse and there's no apologies for who he is he's just what he is you know and I'm playing a woman's part I mean traditionally Jesse would be the girl and Lisa would be the boy you know and people were uncomfortable with that at first you know for a boy to be victimized in a certain way yeah but um, I love Jesse so I wrote a book about it called there is no Jesse and and, uh, well, I wrote Jesse's Lost Journals, which is this, and this is the the true story of Jesse. What's happening? Like, he does get laid in it, and uh, and he it's, it's a it's a really good book. But we're doing a documentary called There Is No Jesse, and. My friend, can you step right in here? Lisa, can you step in here for a second? I want to say goodbye to my, this is my friend. I'm not leaving now. Oh, you're not? No, I am. Oh, I'm she's, come back, but hi. she's leaving. This is Lisa Wilcox. Mwah. I love her. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, Let me kiss you again, and I'm leaving. Okay. The, um, we're doing a documentary called There Is No Jesse, and it, it really is all about what happened to Nightmare on Elm Street 2, and, uh, and why it's so popular now. That's actually particularly fascinating, because speaking of documentaries, and I learned a lot of those facts you just said about uh, Jesse being a girl role from the Never Sleep Again documentary, Correct. and that was probably my favorite segment from that entire monster of a documentary, so a whole documentary just about that is rather intriguing. It's, it's amazing, because everybody... It, it seemingly loves part two the best in the documentary because it's so funny. And I mean, Clue has absolutely the best line in the entire documentary, if you ask me. I mean, the blowjob line is hysterical, right? So, but we're doing There Is No Jesse is um, is actually a very, very serious documentary. It's yes. not like I Am Nancy. And it has two film crews going at the same time. One is a very serious black and white uh, footage, and it's based based on uh, Madonna's Truth or Dare, the, the concert film, Yes. and they're following me, and we have the people that shoot Dolce & Gabbana's ads are doing the Technicolor parts of what's going on inside of my mind as I'm sitting at the table, 
and um, I just go off into this like sort of Jesse land, and we just shot a promo, and my wrists are slit, and you can hear people saying bad things about Jesse in the background, and I'm signing autographs, and there's blood sort of dripping on the picture, and I just hand it to people, and you can see those on my Facebook page or on my website, which is www.markpatton4d.com, but it's going to be a great documentary, and everybody's participating in it, from Robert England, really? Bob Shea, everyone, and it's a very, and we start off the world 30th anniversary tour in February of 2015 in Fort Lauderdale, and it is absolutely the entire cast of Nightmare on Elm Street and above and below the line, so they're all going to be there, and it's by a, a new company, it's a rock and roll promotion company, so all the rooms are lit, it's like going to a concert, like a Nightmare on Elm Street concert, and we're live, and they have like a big gulp thing, like where you get a poster for 150 bucks, and you get everybody's signature. That's insane. So you, nobody gets left out, you know. And it's like it's fun, and you can go in and say, "I'm going to spend 150 bucks and have fun," or you can spend a couple thousand if you want. The guy won't mind. But uh, that starts in February uh, 2015 in Fort Lauderdale. Is Bob Shea going to be there, or just the cast? I believe Bob Shea is actually going to show I, up. I have such an immense respect for Robert Shea. He's a he's a very smart man. I would love to pick his brain and I, I was more fascinated by his sort of story you know building it from the ground up oh he really did I mean Dis it's grass dis distributing out of his apartment and I mean that's that's it's really inspiring in that documentary really I want to, I want to like to, I always like to talk to the young entrepreneurs because like right now there's like an opening in the world for what we're doing right here yeah. right like I wrote this book and if I sold this and I when I wrote this book um, my first printing was a thousand books and it sold out in four days Right. If I was printing this through Amazon.com and selling it, I would have had to sell 40,000 books to make the same amount of money that I made. Like doing it on your own, yeah. Right. The world's different. You don't need anybody to come to you. You can do it yourself. And uh, and as soon as you have some film or some paper or a book, or whatever, the people will come to you. It's like that's that's the way it works nowadays. And Bob Shea, but he was selling out of the trunk of his car. I mean, he sold the rights to. It's insane. It's a fascinating watch. Obviously, your documentary coming out, but the Never Sleep Again documentary to get more about the Bob Shea story. It is it's really inspirational. It's amazing. He sold this to Warner Brothers for a billion dollars. So there you go. I love the part where uh, the part of his story where it was that turning point where it's like, hey, we'll buy the rights from Freddie for a quick cash in, right. or do I, you know, make that risk and hold on to it for the right. big score? And man, that's what it's all about. Oh, it is. Being passionate about what you're selling and what you're creating and just sticking to your guns. Right. And you have to realize also about Bob Shea if you really look at him. You know, John Waters. He's responsible for John Waters. Yes. It's like he paid for all of that stuff. And then Lord of the Rings. All also, I mean, like they came in with, okay, we're gonna make two films, and he's like, he ups the ante and says, no, you got to do three. Now that is a lot, a lot of balls. I mean, it's like he went all in, and of course he won. You know, I mean, he's a billionaire. Now, so. Believe in what you're selling, man. Right. Believe in what you're selling, and you're gonna, I think you're gonna win nine out of ten, man. Right, and I also, I also think you're gonna have a lot of fun if you really do what you love and you enjoy it. Like I, I saw a Jim Carrey thing the other day, and it's. I, Probably a lot of people have already heard it, but it's like, if you do something that you really hate with your life, and you can fail at that too, you know. I mean, you can take that job that everybody says is safe and fail at it, or you can go do what you love, and you might just win. And if you do fail at doing what you love, you're still having a good time. No one's going to call you a loser for that's right. Going for trying. Yeah, no yeah. one's going to do it. Trying. Where can people watch this documentary? When? Oh well, the, the the documentary is being shot. It'll start being edited in February of 2015. But you can go to uh, my Facebook page or my website. It, it's going to be pretty well done. Documented. I mean, as far as it's produced, it's a it's a budgeted kind of deal. So if you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan, you'll you'll definitely hear about it. But just come to my Facebook page. Um, and I can't friend you, but you can follow me at whatever that means, and then um, or you can go to my website. And, and we'll link all that below too. So oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, just keep in touch. We're very. I have a whole crew, and we're very hands on with everything. We talk to everybody, and also we're like very affiliated with the. Trevor Project, which I talked about before, yes. and if you'll come there, I'll show you, if you want to do something, get involved, I'll show you how to do it, and make it very easy for you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, it's man. It's a pleasure, absolutely. Jesse.
It's okay. It's all over. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,